Today, I am going to solve a problem which involves Osikov rearrangement and Wittig reaction. Here is the problem. When this 1,5-diene is treated with potassium hydride, the presence of crown ether gives A. When the compound A is treated with this Wittig salt, the presence of N-butyl lithium gives B. What are the structures of A and B? In order to solve this, you should know cope, I can say oxycope rearrangement and its stereochemistry or transient state. Second one, Wittig reaction and its stereochemistry. First, let us go to the oxycope rearrangement. This is the given product. Here they are trans and OH is here. Methyl is here. The reaction is very simple. So it undergoes 3 3 sigma trophic rearrangement to give a product. like this but for the time being I don't know what is the stereochemistry of this as well as this if you know the transient state you can easily predict these things you may know that it goes through a six membered transient state so you can see here one two three four five six and it is chair conformation. So if I connect this, I will get a chair. Now, what about the stereochemistry of this olefin? It is trans. So I write like this. And here, that also trans. I write like this. So you can see, this double bond, trans, this also trans. That is E olefin. What about this OH? That is here. Whether I need to place OH here or here. So I have taken this here and this one back side. Just like that you cannot fix the atoms or groups. You have to assign stereochemistry for this first. If you assign, what you get is 1, 2, 3. Since hydrogen is the back side, you have to look as such, so it is R stereochemistry. So you have to place in the same way. So whatever stereochemistry you got here, that you should get here also. If I place OH, in the equatorial position then 1 2 3 4 is at the bottom so this is hydrogen you can see here this so this is R so you have to place like this the another one you need not go for R as configuration instead of that you can compare the relative stereochemistry OH and ME they are trans in 1 to position equatorial equatorial are trans so now let us go for the reaction this bond migrates here this bond migrates here this one forms here then the product will be like this here this bond becomes double bond this bond also becomes double bond and a new bond is formed here CH3 is like this this CH3 is like this then this is OH E0 but I can write that the keto form that will be aldehyde and methyl is here 
Now the stereochemistry of this double bond it is trans. So here it should be trans. What about this? These two methyls. Are they cis or trans? Here they are trans. But in the problem they have not given in this format. The given option you can see here the carbon chain it is zigzag line but here we didn't get like this so what you have to do you have to convert this into zigzag line that means this has to come this side or you can fix the stereochemistry and then you can decide In order to convert this into zigzag line, you have to rotate above this bond. This carbon has to be rotated in such a way that this alkyl chain, this alkyl chain will be anti periplane now. They should be in the same plane but at 180 degree angle. So I try to rotate this. The other one I keep as such. I rotate like this. Then CHO will come here. Hydrogen. So I have rotated this carbon by 120 degree. Now you can see the CHO this CH2 and this alkyl chain they are just the opposite direction they are trans now only you can compare whether this methyl and this methyl they are cis or trans you can see the CH3 and the CH3 they are axial and equatorial so they are sin you can also confirm this by assigning RS configuration let us try to give RS configuration for these two centers first one higher priority goes for this one two three so comes like this so this is S this also should be S let's check one two three you need to view the molecule from here. So this will be on the top, this will be towards your right, this will be towards your left. So this also will be yes. This I have not changed. This, this center I have not changed. Only this one I have changed but it is the same even after the rotation. The second reaction, it is nothing but Wittig reaction. Wittig reaction, it is very useful in organic synthesis. In this, first methyl iodide is heated with triphenyl phosphine to give this salt. Methyl triphenyl phosphonium iodide. So this is called as Wittig salt. Because of this positive charge on phosphorus, this CH3 hydrogen it is acidic. If I add a base, generally we add sodium hydride or sodium ethoxide. The base abstracts this proton to give this elide. Minus charge and plus charge they are on 1, 2 atoms. So this is called elide. We can also write this in this way. So this minus charge goes there to give this. So this is called elide. Initially they prepare this elide and then they go for the reaction. Now only we are going to add aldehyde. Aldehyde and this one they react 
to give this alkene the reaction the mechanism involves the nucleophilic attack of this minus charge on aldehyde to give this intermediate minus charge attack here and O minus attack the phosphorus. Then it undergoes elimination to give triphenyl phosphine oxide. If you have taken methyl iodide, there is no problem, you will get terminal olefin. But if you take ethyl iodide, then you will get this elide. When this elide is treated with aldehyde, say like this, propane aldehyde, then this will attack and we will get olefin here. What about the stereochemistry? What about the stereochemistry of this? Whether it will be E or Z. The earlier case, we got terminal olefin. So there is no question of stereoselectivity. But in this case, it is internal olefin and we need to predict whether it is E olefin or Z olefin. The case of Wittig reaction, Z olefin is more preferred than E. Around 80% it will be Z olefin, 10 to 20% it will be E olefin. Is there any possibility to increase the selectivity? If I want to get more of E olefin, is it possible to get? Yes. It is possible to get E olefin by Wittig Horner reaction. It is modification of Wittig reaction. In the Wittig Horner reaction, instead of triphenyl phosphine, we go for triethyl phosphide. This is treated with this bromo compound, ethyl bromoacetate. The lone pair of phosphorus attacks here to give this compound and Br minus. Now the Br minus attacks here, this bond goes like this. So what we get is phosphonate ester. This reaction in which triethyl phosphate is heated with alkyl halide to give the phosphonate ester. This is called Arbuzov reaction. It is a name reaction but it is not that much uh, popular with this name. To this, if you add a base, even sodium hydroxide is sufficient because this proton it is active methylene proton. It has ester group as well as phosphonate. So this is active methylene proton that can be taken by a base to give the minus charge. That is more stable intermediate. You can store as such. So this can be prepared and stored for a long time. This reagent reacts with aldehyde. The mechanism is almost same, but stereoselectivity, whatever we get, is different. After the reaction, whatever we get is E olefin. Around 
it will be e olefin and z olefin it is negligible amount the earlier case the, the selectivity will be around 80 20 but here it will be 99 and 1 so exclusively we get e isomer is there any possibility to get z isomer exclusively in this it is possible by modifying the Wittig salt if instead of triethyl phosphate if I use fluorine atom here then I will get this with the harness salt. If I use this one, the stereochemistry will be reversed. So in this case, I will get Z isomer as the major. Only changes here. Instead of triethyl phosphate, go for trifluoroethyl. The given options are here. We have seen that the stereochemistry of this methyl group, it is cis. So only in 1 and 2, they are cis. In 3 and 4, they are trans. So this is not possible. Then what about the stereochemistry of the Wittig reaction? Since it is Wittig reaction, the olefin form should be Z olefin, not E. So this should be the answer. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.